Worst case scenario, boys. I don't have a clue what just happened. What the fuck? I think I... we, uh... What the... <laughs> what the fuck did I do? No idea. Didn't feel bad at all. Just felt like a normal corner. Holy oh my sh God. Shit. F Just went over. Bad deal. That is crazy. What the? It's like it had to come undone or something. Like the trailer came undone. That's what it seems like. Wow. It's actually really bad. Super bad. The ghoul. Ghouled. Rick Caston. Caston. This is super bad. I think the truck came unhooked from the trailer. I think that's what happened here. Because none of this makes sense. We've gone 40,000, 50,000 miles with this trailer set up. Never had any inkling of this ever being anything other than super stable and perfect. Really weird. Probably the, one of the toughest things I've ever laid eyes on. Yeah, this is bad. What was it like from behind? Because you were back there. Rick was going over. Yeah. But I was glad it didn't. Like, yeah. You guys are okay with it. Yeah, I'm not but sure where our... It was nuts looking at that. Like, it was just... Yeah. One of the, the saddest things. Truthfully, though, like I was just saying to Rick, this has been the most stable rig we've ever had. We've done 40,000 miles, never had an issue. Yeah, I just... I, I don't know what to say. I don't understand. I don't, I don't know. I think the trailer came unhooked. It didn't make any sense. I don't know how it would come unhooked. I don't Frank know. and I hooked it up. Frank jacked it down, made sure yeah. it was all the way down before we locked the yeah. gooseneck in. It's got a piece of plate that prevents that thing from coming up. Like, oh, yeah, I mean, the plate's still locked, the ball's still in the truck. I don't know. It's a lot of weight really high in the air. Yeah, maybe we'll have to rethink this trailering setup. A lot of cars took some big hits though here, boys. The YXZ basically got crushed to death. The ghoul got tossed. It's probably, oh no, ghoul's dead. Sucker's totally dead, look at the cage. Oh, look at the cage. Yeah, cage is gone. Oh man. Yeah, I guess we could flip one of them over. I don't know what to do. I don't think that was you, dude. We've taken a hundred, 10,000 exits. I don't feel like we were pushing it at all. No. Felt like we were going pretty freaking slow. Yeah. It was just an easy entrance onto the highway. The pin is still in the lock. Yeah. On the coupler of the trailer, so who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, super bad. It looks like we sustained some pretty heavy damage on Battlefield. The Pro R is probably messed up pretty decently. 2JP, that cage is made of basically raw steel. So I don't think that is going to be bad. The wheel took an unfortunate hit. I'm unsure what to even think at this moment. What do you think? It just feels like a nightmare, honestly. Like yeah. This is, I was just thinking last night how excited I was to come down here with everyone and have a good time. Things seemingly were turning around for us. You know, we are going to go down to this event. We had a lot of cool stuff to show you guys. And yeah. I mean, literally. We just took a picture at the gas station. Matt, Jesus, yep. and I, you know, excited. 
ready to get on the road. Next stop was going to be Indy. Yep. So we thought. Just out of nowhere, boys. Totally out of nowhere. You know, obviously it's not in great taste to sit here and video, but you know, we have everybody here. Everybody's got their roles and responsibilities and we're all doing what we can do, so. Woo! Gosh, the wags, he ate it hard. Ugh. Man, the ghoul, bro. Yeah, I feel for that machine, but at the end of the day, I'm just glad everyone, all you guys in the truck here. Yeah, I mean, I've seen so many videos from dash cam stuff where things like this happen and it rolls the truck. And if we would have rolled the truck, we'd be on the highway. Yeah. And God knows a truck or trailer coming, could have crashed into the cab, took us all out. So, so uh, uh, trying to be optimistic about it. Before, yep. Just plastic and metal, like you said. Plastic and metal, man, as long as we're okay. You know, the money situation is always a concern. Luckily, we have you know support of a lot of great people. And, uh, you know, we can come back from anything, but man, this is a tough one, boys. It's tough seeing these three cars right here, all of which are honestly my favorite and the most expensive things we've ever worked on, basically just smashed into the dirt. That's heartbreaking. Yeah. It's a nightmare. I can't describe it any other way. Right yep. So I think the plan of action, Doug already unstrapped all these rigs. Probably either just going to let them be where they're at, and then when the deal gets rolled back over they'll kind of just sit there and we can push them over manually you know or we continue to roll them over and then bring them back out here sorry took a hard hit the whole side of the bed took a hard hit basically the entire whatever you'd call that tongue piece or whatever when it came off this ball it just completely blew this edge off that's the right tool for the job. Oh, uh, we got the boys here. So, Frank, what's, why is that a good tool for the job? Because he can get up so high, and he can pick the trailer up and literally it's place it, basically. Okay. It's not yeah. going to be a, a slam. So. Yeah, it's we're still a bad deal, but that's what we needed. Yeah, we were concerned that when it came down on this side, it might you know, mess the axles up or blow all these tires or whatever. But we're thinking we're at the point where there's the potential if this rolls back, we can reload everything, obviously switch out positions of machines. This is not doing good, but... Well, I mean, he can pick it up and boom it, drain it right to... Right yeah. There. Shoo! Man. I just, uh, I just talked to my dad on the phone, and I think I got it figured out what happened. It's Friday the 13th. Oh, it is. Oh, my God. Somebody said that. Yep, it is. Last week, they were like... Friday the 13th. Been taking a lot of tough breaks recently, man. And we just, uh, you know, like I said earlier, it's easy to give up. It's easy to go home. I think we need to push through and just get this done and do the weekend we were supposed to do, you know? What are we going to do? Go home and mope? Or are we going to go still have a good time? Yeah. We'll try to. Make the best out of it with a lot of our friends. Yeah. Push forward. Oh, boy. Dang. These front three, man. I can't get over it. Starting to get a little emotional, I'll be honest. It sucks, hey. It sucks. Yep. But it all looks pretty straight, honestly. It's a really tough trailer. Like, this is a heavy duty one, so. Yeah, it, it doesn't look like, I mean, maybe a couple of little dents like this, but. Yeah, this is where the YXZ. Much. Or the YXZ got it. The YXZ, though. It took a hit, man. I don't know if you got this thing yet, but. No, I haven't really looked. It looks like oh, it broke the no. shaft. It probably, probably bent the frame in here. It's bad. Yeah. What do you think, man? It's a bad deal. It's a bad deal. This is maybe the worst of deals. But it's not, yeah, sorry, I'm fidgeting. I'm fidgety right now. I got stuff going. At the end of the day, they're just machines. Just machines. Had that landed on top of us. I had the truck rolled over and we flew into the highway. I mean, there's so many other worst case scenarios. It sucks. It sucks real bad, but at least we're alive to look at it. Yep. So what are you going to do? If things are replaceable, humans are not. It's a hell of a sight. Hey, on a bright note, thank goodness I didn't put the wheels on my car. <laughs> <laughs> or the cage, dude. <laughs> Apparently, you can't crash this into the ground from nine feet in the air can. and then have a YXZ smash into it <laughs> and then roll it back onto the ground and have a trailer crash onto it. But Actually, would he have lived? Yes. He would have been, been fine. This is. 
was gonna be the only time the YXZ beats this thing. <laughs> <laughs> How'd it look from behind? It looked very, very slow motion. Yeah. Like, Brittany was actually trying to grab her phone. I watched it in slow motion. <laughs> and we're like, I'm like, grab the phone, this is not good. Cause it was this, it just kind of teetered up. Yeah. And then, I don't know, I, I don't know and if I can see brake lights or not, cause we were behind Rick yet, but. It was, uh, once she got up there, that's a lot of weight swinging, so she just... Yeah. It was super slow motion. This is going to be nuts seeing this whole thing picked up. Like, I'm that's a little good. bit nervous to see what's going to happen with the ramps and the machines. They might fall, they might not, they might continue to roll, they might not. I don't think they will, but I don't know. Joe assures us, Joe, the operator there, Yeah. that he can tip this thing over, no issues. Yeah, I mean, this is their job. Look at the size of that freaking strap. That's insane. Made for picking over big semis. So. Yeah, that thing's made for picking up a lot of weight. This should be very spicy. I don't know what's going to happen here. Yeah, it's hard to imagine exactly, you know, the physics of this. The YZ is still holding up the back of the trailer, so. I, I think that's going to put weight on it when they pick it up. Maybe not. The entire thing and then set it back down on the platform and pull it over. Oh, because it swings. Oh, because they can. Oh my gosh. So once it's in the air, they can swing that whole rig. Okay. All right, this is. This guy's run tow truck for a while. Yeah. Tough break on the YXZ, but nothing compared to what just happened. Unfortunately, already cooked. So. Yeah. Absolutely nuts. I don't want to get in anybody's way here, but wow. This is such a heavy trailer too. Like all the weight in play here is just crazy. Excellent job, brother. Excellent. That was badass. Wow. Well, now comes the unfortunate task of doing something with these things. Well, because these took a pretty good hit, so the frame rail is what I'm concerned about here. Honestly, frame. The frame looks okay. Yeah, I was looking at it earlier. It doesn't. The frame is okay, I think. Yeah, because here. Would have taken damage, but it ain't bad. Here it would have taken damage, but it ain't bad. Behind this zone, I mean, the shock and everything's cooked, and the control arms. I don't think the frame's bad, buddy. Why is he live again, dude? This thing's tough. That's a great point. You can't kill it. You roll a wedge on top of it. It ain't dead, dude. It's <laughs> a little scratched up. Sucker's alive. Oh, I saw the news, dude. We're gonna be on the news in the worst way possible. Yeah, we're just out here, you know, getting fuel, and uh, you know, wind took the best of us. I don't know. Someone go tell them that we're a part of uh, UTV Underground. <laughs> Sorry, Joey D. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, we're seeing. I mean, you can't, you can't take something from eight feet out of the air and smash it into the ground without issues. We're already seeing some signs of foul play here gosh not that i expected i didn't expect the car to be perfect but man i didn't expect that it, a lot happened here man oh my god oh it looks like something let go on the front of yours bub good thing it looks like all the frame tabs are okay so that's good we'll have to see on the top end where the cage is at but yeah yeah of a witch's twist. It's bad. It's bad. Look at this crap. Oh man, it looks like the, the tab on the frame there where the cage hooks in is not bent, so that's good. It might not even have bent the cage. Same thing on Battlefield, it looks like it's okay. 
where it connects into the frame. You know, cage is replaceable once you bring the frame into the equation. It gets spicy in terms of fixing it. So that's good. 2J, it's really hard to say. Well, Kaufman trailer, you know, despite whatever issue we might have had, doesn't really matter. It looks like the trailer held up very, very well. So we're not going to reuse this coupler. We got Mike Reed coming down with the coupler off our other wedge to uh, put in here because whatever collar is inside of that coupler basically had stretched and failed. So it's going to be okay for us to get everything and move it off of the side of the highway here, but it's definitely not okay to take any further than where we're at. So that's what we're going to do. So much for the safety chains. Those ripped right out. I was just making the comment that the safety chains basically ripped out. Yeah. They had a hell of a job, but... Yeah. I mean, they tried, but... I don't think the safety chains are meant for that scenario. You know, <laughs> yeah. If it comes unhooked, maybe they keep them from pulling out the back, but uh, if you send that thing over sideways, these chains are gone for the job. Well, we got Frank putting his life on the line for the blog. Whatever idiot decides to comment something negative about him, you come over here and stand under this trailer. So we're unsure if 2J is going to roll, it looks like. I mean, it might roll, but it took a hard hit, brother. She sure did. Looks like Battlefield up here now. Yeah, it's got that bent deal. We know how to fix that, so. Larry lives again. It's a little scarred, but. Yeah. Tough truck. All right, boys, here we go. being there to help but I honestly do have a very bad back. Wow. Man. Took a hard hit boys. Took a hard hit. I mean we're talking from the bottom of that trailer to where this thing was sitting where this spot was sitting was probably close to 10 feet and it fell from 10 feet out of the air onto the pavement and then skidded into the grass. Could be a lot worse. There'd be a lot of machines that would have folded in half if that happened. Yeah, I mean, maybe structurally it looks okay. Scoop the shock on this one, that's a bummer. Yeah. Plastics, you know. Oh, boys. One and only two J's about to be flipped back over. Hopefully she doesn't come down too hard. Like we were saying, it's a bit more sensitive ground clearance is really low it doesn't have you know big thick tires on the front to take flipping it over it's a little more delicate so oh that ain't looking good that was about as good as you could have done yeah. the guy did a great job yeah crazy the suspension droops out and the shocks broke it just got 9,000 inches of ground clearance a little bit of oil fired right up pro R oh yeah here we go crap on this one this one took a freaking hit boys uh, took a freaking hit brother yeah. I'll be honest with you Doug seeing it injured like that from a relatively low speed wreck makes me really question whether or not a high speed wreck should be in that car's future with you in it I mean, basically no 
the cage held up. Yeah. <laughs> if we're looking just to keep your head in place, I think we're good. But right. the rest of your extremities, feet always at risk. You know, in yeah. Types, uh, types of things. But uh, unfortunately, this definitely means that she won't be going 180 miles an hour this weekend. So we'll have some time to think about that strategy. Yep. Yep. Oh, this thing is stuck in lifted mode. That's just so sad to see. So lifting the YXZ on the front. Really no other spot to put it, unfortunately. It's the least drivable of the machines, so doing what we can do. You want to see if that ghoul will fire up? I think that's going to be up next yeah. behind the YXZ. I feel bad for that. I feel bad for all these machines. I feel really bad for that one. That, one's... that one took the hardest hit. What I didn't realize is that the ghoul was actually on the back. Yeah. So when it crashed, that got ripped off and then crashed into the ghoul. And it really took the duel for a loop. Yeah. Real bad. Yeah, we'll try and fire that up. Also had a super nice guy come and bring us a bunch of drinks. Didn't get his name. That was very much appreciated if you're watching this video. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much for that. At a time like this, you don't really think about drinking water and calming down. You're just kind of freaked out. But to have a person know to bring us stuff and that's awesome. Let's get go see if that game. Will start. Yeah, it'll start. Well, time to see if the ghoul will run. I bet you it will. The pop tire is a real tough break. <laughs> it started right up. That clutch engagement, though. Oh boy. Sucker's got no coolant left, and she's still ripping, dude. Yeah. Honestly, fired right up. Yeah. Sounds good, dude. Ready for it? She's ready to rip, you can tell by the way it is. <laughs> It'll be all right. <laughs> Looks like a weird tug of war. <laughs> oh boy. Look at that. Great job, Doug. I'm trying to positively reinforce my bro, you know? All right, we're gonna have to do some uh, rocking and rolling here to get room for 2J. Pointed this out. Freaking strap. These are 10,000 pound straps. Ripped. Nuts. Oh, boys. This is probably the most delicate part of the situation here is lifting 2J on. We have enough room, luckily, but. And this guy's a pro, so it should be easy, but man. What do you think, buddy? Hey, it's gonna work. We're going to Indianapolis, one way or another, with a bunch of broken stuff, unfortunately. But yeah. Quite the story to tell. I mean, it's, uh, it sucks, man. We got a lot going on right now. This is not the giant pile of work that we needed to add on to it. Nope, but when they say it rains, it pours, and some things comes in threes, they come in seventeens, and we had a, <laughs> had a lot owed to us, apparently. What are we going to do, Robbie? Quit? I don't think so. I got nothing else I can do. This is it. So... Just try to Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. <sighs> Basically, any responsibility we've now had is off the table until Sunday. So I probably think better watch out because I'm chopping heads on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> freaking job treated everything very respectfully nothing got more injured during the recovery and that's all you can ask for well boys we're getting back on the highway we're just gonna get off the exit and go park at that truck stop we were just at Whew. well we're at the truck stop here we got everything loaded up that tire got cut really really bad really so bad. 
we're gonna have to fix that looks like when it when the bed stuff popped out it came through and just ripped up the sidewall a bunch so that's not safe we're gonna switch that out we're gonna get all the plastic out of the machines and mike reed's coming with that extension piece off the trailer what else i don't know man hey clean one owner wait maybe part of that one owner is right but well, boys, when you're three hours away and you leave your best Mike Reed at home, what does he do? Your best Mike Reed comes and says, you know, "Today, need a hug, bro. I need more than a hug. I need Damn. a hug. I need a beer. I need a new all these machines. We need a new truck. We need a, a lot of new stuff. What'd you bring, though? Show the people. Wow. Good thing you had help at the shop loading that up. It looks heavy. I mean, it's not that bad. It's heavy. Whatever that part is, it bent on this trailer over here when the ball ripped out. So. We're gonna slide this one in. We have a new piece. The one very small good thing about having two wedge trailers. Uh, thanks, buddy. I just feel so bad right now. Just glad I could at least run down and help you guys with something. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, very unfortunate. Man. It's, but as we've learned in the past, move forward, progress on. Yep, yep. Lick the wounds, fix the wounds, and keep trucking. What's good is we can't really do much riding at the shop, so we have to work on stuff. Yeah, and we were sort of running out of projects, but now we got a ton of projects, dude. Good for you, Matt. <laughs> well, like I said on Instagram, ain't about how we start the day, it's about how we end it. Yeah. So words, where are we gonna end, buddy? Words of wisdom, man. Uh, everything's fixed up. Mikey brought us a hitch. Everything's on the truck. It's safe. We fix the things. We got a new tire. You know, overall, really, really tough situation. Feel really horrible about the whole deal, but everybody just stayed positive, got the deal done, and we're going to Indy. Yep. We're going to have a good weekend, one way or another. So, uh, you know, that's what's so cool about this deal. So everybody just powers through. Just yep. uh, be happy we're here. Don't get too down. It sucks, but we know a lot about fixing machines. This is no problem. Yep. Done it before, we can do it again. We're really sorry about that pro Nixus. That is, man, tough break. Ooh, you know, gosh. The good thing is, it's got a build about to start anyways. Most of the stuff is gonna be replaced. The shock, okay. We'll Take get it a off shock. the parts unit. Oh, oh true, <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh, Mike had some words of wisdom that you were gonna say when you rolled up, but I wasn't recording. What was it? Sucker's dead. <laughs> yeah. Like that Mike? Sucker is like dead. That. I mean, listen, they're just parts machines. While you're still standing, we're doing good. That's a great point. Well, anyway, at times like this, supporting us is the most important because clearly we are sending it and just trying to ruin ourselves financially, physically, and mentally for the entertainment of uh, the people. So we don't really have anything <laughs> we're trying to support right now, but in this area over here in a second with Patreon, that's uh, the best way to help. Seriously, thank you all. We've been on a little run of some uh, tough breaks and bad luck recently, some our own doing, some not as much, but regardless, uh, there's no way we would be able to continue through all of this stuff without your support and I guarantee you we are going to continue through all of it. But yep. obviously need everybody's support now more than ever so if you're watching the channel, if you're subscribed or donating on Patreon or buying the parts on the parts site or buying the merchandise or buying through the Rocky Mountain Lake, like that is the stuff that makes this program run and yep. uh, we love you guys. Thank you very much. We're going to go get to it. See you back here soon. Yeah, so I had a video planned for it today. Don't worry about it. It sucked. This was way better. <laughs> in terms of video. Is that better? I mean, it's better in terms of video. Yeah. I don't... Stay, stay tuned for the next t-shirt, making the block great again. <laughs> Drop of, next month. Week of Freedom is savage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really savage. is. It really is. Oh, uh, let's go to Indy. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. See, See you, buddy. Brothers.